in this video i will talk about super mesh method why should we apply super mesh analysis after that i will show you an example showing step by step procedure to solve that circuit so what is super mesh meshes that share a current source with other meshes and none of which contains a current source in their outer loop form a super mesh see meshes that share a common current source with other meshes and none of which contains a current source in their outer loop form a super mesh okay that means we will have two mesh which will share a common current source and in their outer loop there will be no current source look at this circuit if let's say this is our mesh number one and this is our mesh number two here you will see within the mesh 1 and 2 they share a common current source of 5 ampere and see in their outer loop they do not contain any current source that means if I merge the mesh 1 and mesh 2 I will get our super mesh we will get the super mesh after replacing this current source with an open circuit see if I replace the current source with an open circuit our circuit will look like this therefore this first mesh and the second mesh will be merged to form our super mesh and the region inside this broken line will form our super mesh okay see I have indicated it with this broken line now I will talk about why do we need to apply super mesh analysis method let's say this is our A terminal this is our B terminal this is our C terminal this is our D terminal a B C D A form our mesh number one as a result I will assume mesh current I1 in clockwise direction D C E F D let's say this is our mesh number two therefore I will assume a mesh current of I2 also in clockwise direction when we apply mesh analysis in a circuit we apply KVL to each and every meshes in the circuit that means if I want to solve this circuit using mesh analysis I will have to apply KVL to this mesh 1 and this mesh 2 to calculate the voltage drop across a resistor we have to use Ohm's law that means I have to use this formula V is the voltage equal to I into R to calculate the voltage drop across a resistor but there is a problem when we have to apply mesh analysis and I have to use Ohm's law to calculate voltage drop across that branch which contains the current source now let's say I, I am applying KVL at mesh 1 from this point to this point I will encounter this 15 volt source and its negative terminal first and positive terminal later therefore I will get a voltage of plus 15 after that I will encounter this 6 ohm resistor and its positive polarity first and negative polarity later therefore its voltage will be minus 6 I1 but from this C to D I cannot obtain a voltage equation because to calculate voltage I have to write the equation like this V equal to I into R see this CD branch contains a current source only 5 ampere and it does not have any resistor so I have to assume that this branch has a resistor of equal to 0 there is no voltage drop across this CD branch which is not the actual case therefore we cannot apply normal mesh analysis in this kind of circuit and we have to start our analysis with a new method which we will call as super mesh analysis now I will show you an example of how to solve this kind of circuit when two meshes share a common current source between them now I will show you an example of super mesh analysis calculate the mesh currents in the circuit using super mesh concept see this is our circuit and in the circuit I have to calculate the mesh currents using the concept of supernode if this is our mesh number one and if this is our mesh number two you will see me between mesh one and two we have an independent current source of 5 ampere therefore I can expect that this circuit will form a super mesh now let me give you the step by step 
solution method of this circuit at first i have to determine the number of meshes in the circuit and assign mesh current to each independent loop let's say this is our a terminal b terminal c terminal d terminal you will see this a b c d a will form a single mesh therefore i can assign a mesh current i1 in clockwise direction in mesh 1 d c e f d this will form another mesh and i will assign another loop current let's say that current with i2 okay so i am done with our step number one after that i have to assign polarity to the resistor according to the direction of loop or mesh current see in case of this 6 ohm resistor i1 is entering from this direction and leaving in this direction so this terminal positive and this terminal is negative in case of this 12 ohm i2 is entering from this direction so this terminal is positive and this terminal is negative that means i am done with our step number two in step number three see i have to apply kashov's current law at the node where the current source is connected into take an account of all the currents inside super mesh look at this circuit if i take out this 5 ampere current source this branch will be open therefore i can merge mesh 1 and mesh 2 to form our super mesh that now see this 5 ampere current source is connected at this terminal i will apply kcl at this terminal okay and i have to consider all the currents inside the super mesh see mesh 1 and mesh 2 will be inside super mesh therefore you see this i1 will be entering from this direction at this node and this i2 will be leaving this node from this direction because it is in clockwise direction and we have a 5 ampere current source outgoing from this node so if i apply kcl at c i will get summation of incoming currents will be equal to summation of our outgoing currents i1 will be equal to i2 plus 7 from which i can write i1 minus i2 equal to 7 this will be our equation number 1 so i am done with our step number 3 in step number 4 i will mentally remove the current source okay and apply kpl to the super mesh see if i remove this 5 ampere current source our circuit will look like this circuit see our circuit will look like this and the region inside this broken line will indicate our super mesh with current loop current i1 in mesh 1 and loop current i2 in mesh 2 so this is our super mesh see in the step number 4 we have to apply kvl to the super mesh the region inside this mesh will be our super mesh so now i will apply kvl to our super mesh from this point to this point i will encounter this 15 volt source so its voltage will be positive because i will encounter negative terminal first positive terminal later so plus 15 after that i will encounter this 6 ohm resistor the current that is flowing through the 6 ohm resistor is only i1 so i will get voltage drop across the 6 ohm resistor as i am encountering plus sign first minus sign later therefore its voltage will be minus 6 i1 from this terminal to this terminal i will encounter this 12 ohm resistor and its positive sign first negative sign later therefore its voltage will be negative and it i2 is flowing in this direction only therefore i will get minus 12 i2 from this terminal to this terminal i am encountering this 
12 volts source and its negative sign first positive sign later therefore according to the sign convention of kvl i will take it as positive plus 12 will be equal to 0 now if i simplify this equation i will get 6 i1 plus 12 i2 equal to 27 this will be our equation number 2 and previously we have our equation 1 i1 minus i2 was equal to 5 now if i solve equation 1 and 2 i will get i1 equal to loop current i1 equal to 4.83 ampere and i2 equal to minus 0 0.1667 ampere that's it thank you